Okay, I'm here with head coach Tony Hobson on MIAA Basketball Media Day. And uh, first off, coach, coming off uh, 30 and 4 season, the best in the program's Division II history, and an MIAA championship, what are your expectations coming into the 2015-16 uh, season? Well, we still have uh, pretty high expectations. We're going to try to, you know, just keep the momentum that we built last year. Uh, our team will look different, but uh, we have we have a lot of experience back, and um, our our goals are to uh, you know try to make another run at the the conference championship and, and make the region tournament. Yep. Uh, with the graduation of two of your best defensive players, uh, do you think defense is still going to be a strong point for your team this year? Well, it was a tough loss for us because uh, probably the two best defenders in the conference, uh, the best one for sure, and we've had them for a long time. They were, they were both seniors. Um, I still think that defensively uh, we'll have to be very good to, to have a successful year. So I, I think we'll be solid defensively. It might look a little different, uh, but uh, we have a lot of depth at the guard spot and a lot of quickness, so hopefully that will help make up for the loss of uh, our two seniors. Yeah. Um, what do you think the uh, team's biggest strength could be going into this season? Well, just experience and, and depth at the guard spot. We've got six six good guards on the perimeter, and and I think they're all, all very good players. Uh, most of them have an abundance of experience. So I, I would say that's going to have to be uh, where we go in tight spots, and, and that's how we're going to win games. Okay. Um, with the graduation of first team All American Kate Lehman, uh, how do you go about making up for her absence, both, I guess, offensively and defensively, because of how she affected the game? That's a very good question, and <laughs> I don't really have an answer for that. Okay. Um, you know, you just hope that uh, the kids that we have out there all all play a little better to make up for what we're going to be losing but we'll we'll have to guard the post different because um, you know we went four years without sending any we, we'd never sent a double team in four years and played the post behind uh, we might have to make some adjustments and and we'll find out what we're going to do after we see exactly what we have yeah uh, at that position okay and uh, how, do you, how do you think the changes in the format of the women's game this year is uh, going to affect your team? Well, I, I don't think it'll make a whole lot of difference. Uh, probably the biggest difference is just how they're going to keep fouls. Yeah. And there probably will be less free throws shot, which uh, the way we shot free throws last year might help us. Um, <laughs> but format-wise, I think it, will, it, it could help a team that, that – uh, pressures a little bit because of the changes in the, the deflection rule in the backcourt and things like that. But the main thing will be just uh, how you how you manage the game. I think coaches are going to have to get used to manage the game in a different way, uh, especially in the final quarter. Okay. Thank you, Coach. You're welcome.